You've probably heard this one before. Skipping breakfast is bad for you. Your body goes into starvation mode. Or maybe the opposite. Fasting detoxes your body. Just stop eating for a day, and you'll reset your system. So, which is it? Does fasting heal you or hurt you? Imagine your body as a bustling city. Every organ has a job. The liver is the recycling plant, the heart is the power grid, the stomach is the food processing factory, and the brain, it's city hall, making every big decision. Now picture this. One morning, the delivery trucks stop. No more supplies. The factories go quiet. At first, everything seems peaceful. But soon, the workers start scavenging through storage, burning fuel reserves, and recycling old materials to survive. Sounds chaotic, right? Here's the twist. Sometimes that chaos is exactly what your body needs. Because while fasting can sound like starvation, the science behind what happens inside your organs tells a far more surprising story, one filled with repair, recycling, and renewal but also potential danger if done wrong. So what really happens during those 24 hours of no food? Which organs thrive and which ones panic? Let's dive into the truth behind what your body actually does when you fast for a day. For decades, we've been told that regular eating keeps metabolism alive. Three meals a day, maybe a snack. Keep the fire burning, right? But scientists at Harvard and the National Institutes of Health discovered something fascinating. That fire doesn't burn out when you stop eating. It just changes fuel. Think of your body like a hybrid car. Normally it runs on glucose, the fuel you get from food. But when you don't eat, the engine quietly switches to backup power. Fat. During the first 6-12 hours of fasting, your body finishes using up stored glucose, called glycogen. Your liver, the body's fuel station, starts breaking it down to keep your blood sugar stable. But once the tank runs dry, something dramatic happens. The liver begins turning fat into tiny molecules called ketones, a cleaner, more efficient energy source for your brain and muscles. Meanwhile, your pancreas, the insulin factory, takes a break. Insulin levels drop, and that's a good thing, because low insulin lets your cells unlock stored fat and start using it. But here's the tricky part. While your metabolism is adjusting, your organs are under pressure. The kidneys have to filter waste differently. The heart slows its workload to conserve energy. And your brain? It starts demanding more ketones to stay sharp. Imagine an orchestra where every instrument suddenly has to switch songs mid-performance. The transition can sound messy until the body finds its rhythm again. Researchers from the Journal of Clinical Investigation found that within just 24 hours of fasting, inflammatory markers in the blood begin to drop. Your immune cells literally slow down as if entering maintenance mode. But that doesn't mean everyone feels great. Some people experience fatigue, headaches, or brain fog during this period. Why? Because your adrenal glands, the body's stress responders, release extra cortisol to keep your energy up. And cortisol, while helpful short-term, can also strain your heart and blood vessels if fasting becomes too long or too frequent. So yes, fasting triggers renewal, but it also stresses your system like forcing a busy factory to shut down for maintenance in the middle of rush hour. Here's the question that matters. Is your body's city ready for that sudden power cut? Let's walk through what happens inside, organ by organ. Hour 06, the stomach and liver, begin the shift. Right after your last meal, your stomach digests and sends nutrients to the bloodstream. Glucose floods in, and insulin tells cells to absorb it. The liver stores the extra as glycogen, like packing away emergency fuel in a warehouse. But by hour six, insulin falls, signaling the liver to start releasing that stored energy. The supply chain keeps your blood sugar normal without food. 
hour six to the twelve. The pancreas rests, the fat cells awaken. As glycogen runs out, fat cells begin to release fatty acids. Your liver converts them into ketones, tiny molecules that can power your brain. Imagine switching from gasoline to solar panels. It's slower, but cleaner. According to a 2018 cell metabolism study, this metabolic switch reduces oxidative stress and boosts brain-derived. Neurotrophic factor, BDNF, a compound linked to focus and learning. In short, fasting can make your brain sharper, at least temporarily. Hour 1218, the kidneys join the effort. As ketones rise, your kidneys start excreting more sodium and water. That's why people often lose water weight early in a fast. But the flip side? You might feel lightheaded or tired. Hydration becomes crucial. Your kidneys are like water filters. They need enough liquid to flush waste properly. A journal of urology. Report warns that long fasting without fluids can slightly increase. The risk of kidney stones due to mineral imbalance. Hour. 18-24. The bow cellular cleanup crew activates. Now the magic begins. Your cells enter a process called autophagy, literally meaning self-eating. Damaged proteins and old cell parts are broken down and recycled for fuel. This process was so important that the scientist who discovered it, Yoshinori Osumi, won the 2016 Nobel Prize in Medicine. Autophagy helps prevent diseases linked to aging, like Alzheimer's and cancer. In fact, research in Nature showed that fasting for 24 hours can boost autophagy in the liver and heart, clearing out defective mitochondria, the batteries of cells. But there's an irony here. While your body repairs itself, your hormones start to shift. Cortisol rises, hunger hormones like ghrelin spike and your digestive system begins preparing for the next meal. It's like your body saying, Okay, cleanup's done. Time to restock. And if you break your fast with processed food or sugar, you shock your system again. That's why nutritionists recommend gentle refeeding. Protein, healthy fats, and fiber first. Here's the most fascinating part. Even though fasting triggers mild stress, it's that stress that trains your organs to adapt. Your heart learns to pump more efficiently. Your liver becomes better at fat metabolism. Your brain becomes more sensitive to dopamine, improving focus and mood. Short-term fasting, studies show, can lower LDL cholesterol, stabilize blood pressure, and enhance insulin sensitivity, if done safely. But, there's always a but, Go beyond 24 hours too often, and your body may start burning muscle for fuel. That's where things get risky. Because in biology, balance is everything. So how do you know when fasting is helping or hurting? Your body whispers before it screams. And if you listen, you'll notice the signs. Sign 1. Fatigue or dizziness. Your blood sugar might be too low, or your electrolytes out of balance. A pinch of salt in your water can sometimes help. Sign 2. Thirst or dry mouth. Fasting increases fluid loss. You might not be eating, but you still need hydration. Sign 3. Brain fog or irritability. That's your brain adjusting to ketones. It usually passes after a few fasts, but it's a cue to rest. Sign 4. Trouble sleeping. Higher cortisol can disrupt your sleep cycle. A light evening walk or magnesium supplement can calm it. Sign 5. Heart palpitations. If your electrolytes drop, your heart can skip beats. This one deserves medical attention. Sign 6. Digestive discomfort. Refeeding too quickly can cause bloating or cramps. Gentle meals matter. Have you ever felt one of these after skipping meals? Most people have, without realizing it's part of the body's adaptation phase. But here's the good news. Your body isn't fragile. It's adaptable. And when fasting is done with knowledge, not pressure, it becomes one of the most powerful reset buttons in biology.
So let's talk about how to do it safely, without harming your organs. Here's how science says you can fast smart. Tip 1. Start small. Begin with 12-hour fasts, then move to 16 or 18 hours if comfortable. Your metabolism loves gradual change. Tip 2. Stay hydrated. Water, electrolytes, or herbal tea keep your kidneys and heart happy. Dehydration is the enemy, not hunger. Tip 3. Break your fast wisely. A Harvard study on intermittent fasting showed that breaking a fast with protein and healthy fats improves insulin response and reduces sugar spikes. Think. Eggs, avocado, or Greek yogurt, not pastries. Tip 4. Protect your muscles. Your body needs 1.2-1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily. That's the sweet spot for preserving lean mass while fasting. Tip 5. Listen to your signals. If you feel faint, stop. Fasting is a tool, not a punishment. Tip 6. Focus on the benefits that last. A 2020 NIH review found that short-term fasting can reduce inflammation, improve lipid profiles, and enhance mitochondrial function. That means clearer skin, steadier energy, and better sleep. The takeaway? Balance isn't sacrifice, it's strength. You don't need to starve to heal. You just need to give your organs time to breathe. If this surprised you, if you didn't expect fasting to heal your body as it challenges it, then you'll love our next deep dive. What happens to your organs if you fast for three days? Remember, your body isn't your enemy. It's your lifelong teammate. And fasting, when done wisely, is one of the ways you can help it repair, reset, and thrive. But always consult your doctor before major diet changes. Because what's medicine for one person might be stress for another. If this helped you see fasting in a new light, hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone curious about health science. And tell us in the comments, have you ever tried fasting? What did your body feel like after 24 hours? Your story could help someone else find balance. Because here's the truth. Your body isn't waiting for perfection. It's waiting for understanding. And when you give it that, it thanks you for life.